team. Kyle Gamber, and he's the guy, guys, that we're going to have to watch today. Open triple for Gamber, and he knocks it home. The identity of Blue Eagles regained the UAP men's basketball crown for context that level up the Taraka and rival Vina Baden of the Dimunan. My name is Kyle Gamber. I am in the class of 2023 and I am from Dover, Delaware. Yeah, I grew up in Delaware. I went to Holy Cross for uh, most of my life, first 10 years, like from preschool all the way to eighth grade, but I was born in Maryland. It's a really competitive environment. Um, everybody in Delaware wants to make it out. The end goal is to always make it out of Delaware, try to get somewhere beyond this. And so uh, I would definitely say like every game, it's like everyone's trying to earn their own spot and earn their own name. And so that's how I take it personally. Going into every game, I try to make it known like, yeah, I'm trying to earn my name for myself as well. But I would say it's very competitive. There's a lot of underrated talent in Delaware as well. There's a lot of people that don't really get the recognition they deserve. But yeah, that's how I describe it. Recruiting, recruiting with basketball, I would say basketball is the hardest sport to get from because if you, if you really think about it, there's only 12 spots on the team. I mean, 15 spots on the team and only 12 of them are going to be on scholarship and the other three are going to be walk-on. Where in like so many like football where there's 50 players on a team and there's more opportunity for you. I'm not saying football is hard or nothing, it's just the spots are limited. I'm always here, if I'm not here, I'm at school. If I'm not at school, then I'm training somewhere. My freshman year, I fractured my fibula and I was out for the season. And it was a big deal for me just because I was there was two freshmen on varsity and I was one of them. Came back though, I think that was like my biggest like inspiration just because after I came back, that my sophomore year, the first game of the season, we played the same team. I got hurt and I had 29 mm. in the season opener. And that was the COVID year, so it was an okay. empty crowd, but like going into that game, I was just like, I really gotta turn up just because I haven't played in so long. This is my brother, David, my actual brother. How many brothers you got? Because I was saying like, this is my bro, this is my bro, but that's my actual brother, David Gamer. Let's go! One of my biggest inspirations when it comes to me and my brother, I would say a lot of my humor and like personality comes from him. We grew up whooping because my dad was like big on us playing basketball. Like he kind of grew out of it and started playing football in high school and that's where he found his love. Gamer is presently in the last year of his term as a player at Polytech High School in Woodside, Delaware, in the United States. As he goes to college, made possible with the help of Coach Enrico Quintana of the family of Washington, D.C., Gamer decided to provide his services to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Part of this, Cal Gamer played for the Gila's under-18 squad last year. So other than a successful collegiate career, Gamer also aims to play for the Gila's Filipinas men's basketball team. Basketball was uh, was always our first love. Being Filipino, 
You didn't need shoes. You could pay, play barefooted, right? Bare feet. And all you needed was a ball. That was my first love. Basketball was always my first love. And my dad put up our, if you will, a makeshift basketball court. Because we, in the Philippines, you play in the streets. Play in the streets, the sewer, you know, all that. Slippers, dust, jeeps, tricycles going through. So my dad's like, oh, well, we'll build the court. And it, it just took off from there. It was his skill set which changed over the years. It was his hard work, his determination, his, his uh, motivation to push himself, his perseverance. His father, his father's the key to all of this at the end of the day. Nobody else. I, nobody has pushed Kyle to the extreme to get to this level, to become what he's become at this point in time, except for his dad. And he owes it all to his dad. He put in all the hard work, but his dad was there every step of the way. To say that from where he was before to where he is now, obviously there's a big difference. <laughs> you were down 10? Uh, 13. 13 stays. In the fourth quarter? Uh -huh. Yeah, and then, and then I got the post game interview. Yeah, yeah I saw that too. Branch High School, right. um, invited by the Filipino community. We're gonna be training kids today. We should take that home. Castellano of uh, Familia Washington, D.C. And the uh, program that we have, especially in summer, is we do training and we play in a different 
Filipino American tournament, uh, such as we play in Las Vegas, in uh, New Jersey, and uh, Virginia Beach. So it's a uh, it's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Philippine American tournament before going to our major tournament, which is the Naba Intercity in September. To the free throw line, we're gonna stop. We're gonna say bo 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 bo, and we're gonna slide all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And you're gonna get to this side, run up, go to the half court, bo 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 bo, and slide down, all the way there and you're gonna sprint down, and you're gonna come back and fill into the line, all right? Well, I'm not surprised about uh, his skill development, and uh, he developed a, uh, a good ethics and attitude towards his game, towards his teammates, and towards his coach. Uh, I know that there's still a lot of improvement for him to, to do, and I'm proud of him, uh, what he has been accomplished so far. And recently, I learned that he was nominated in the uh, McDonald's All-American, I'm really proud of him about that, and he played for uh, Ilas uh, last summer. So uh, I know that he's gonna get far because you know he likes sports and uh, he's very passionate about uh, improving himself. You come up, come up a little bit. Luke, come up. You come up a little bit. You come up a little bit. Back and forth, back and forth. Line up, line up, make a line. Luke, you go first. Make a line right here, all right? Come on, come on. Uh, right now, this season he's playing uh, for our in-house league, and I know they're gonna get really tough. Uh, they're a championship team under Coach Eric, and I have my own team okay. as well. Uh, this is like an open division, no age limit. Right, you know, as young as 15 and uh, as old as 25 or 30 can play in this division, and it's a very tough division. Now, I don't know yet if he's going to be able to play for uh, uh, the Filipino-American tournament starting in April, because I don't know if he's going to go uh, already to the Philippines and play there, but uh, I'll see. You're going to be on the inside, the inside of the court. For you, you're going to be on the right side. Luke, you're going to be on the left, all right? And I need you guys to back up, go to the baseline. If you're not going, you don't stand there. So watch out, watch out, you guys back up. Now. Get a drink, leave your sorry. Oh, it's hard. Dang, that's a lot. My, my like my voice is out. Coach Jerry. Uh, this, is, this is my guy, Dale. He's going to be making like a documentary for me. Plus, we do followers now, huh? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> my bag. Are you done? No, I'm just, just tired. Out. No, you can sit down. I'm good. Oh, no. I got it. Whoa, that's really tired, mom. That's really tired. I was about to uh, switch, get your group I'm on my side and you, my group on your side. You see me dunk? You guys want to see me dunk? Oh. No, I'm not going to. You said I can't dunk? No, you don't have to do it. Oh, no. Oh. Twos over here. Twos, twos, twos. Twos. I like twos. I like twos. They got good energy. This is ones. Over there. Twos, you see your cone over there? Get a drink, get a drink. Look at I want to see this Tracy real quick. Hold up. Hold up, Tracy. Huh. Huh? How'd I do? Did I do good? Training? I know, right? I know. Hey. It's so good. How you doing? Nice to meet you. If you go on my Instagram, I say he can't guard me in a video, but he really a bucket. Like he just had like 60 the other week. Huh? So I was just showing you. I was saying like you a bucket, even though you really can't guard me. He can't guard me. I'm gonna show you so that way you're not gonna cause you your ankle problem. 
Like last year I played for uh, We Are One Select, which was in all the hoop group tournaments. But um, a lot of my exposure came from uh, playing for the national team as well. That's how I got the looks in the Philippines. Playing um, in all the Filipino tournaments as well. Play from playing the Filipino tournaments, I was able to do good in those games. And then that got me looks to play for the national team. And then from playing the national team, that's how I got all the looks in different colleges there as well. more Filipinos will come up in the sport? Yeah, Filipinos, Filipinos definitely have a love for the sport. That's why I have all the support in the Philippines right now. And there's also the Filipino tournaments around the East Coast and all the Filipinos in Cali and everywhere, everywhere else in America. It's just a matter of how much work we can put in as a community. Like if, if we can uh, embrace each other, like support each other and continue to work hard so other people can share this jacket with me. Like it's really like, a matter of just supporting each other with our that's all I got. I definitely faced some adversity growing up as well. Not, uh, less as I've built a name for myself, I've heard things, of course, like people have called me different names. And I know a lot of other Asian basketball players that are in America have experienced that too. Be able to bounce back from that. Like, okay, yeah, you're gonna call me that and I'm gonna get a bucket. Like, I'm gonna prove my spot. Like, I'm gonna earn, not your respect, but I'm gonna earn the respect of everybody else watching. Yeah, what do we do? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, this is uh, Coach Enrico, uh, Eric, Coach Q, Quintana. I'm the founder and the president of Family of Washington, D.C. Uh, basically, we run our program uh, every quarter for four, for four times a year. We have uh, some leagues right here that's going on, and we're running tournaments uh, in league, in leagues uh, all year round. So basically, our program runs through the kids. You know, we're running clinics, camps. Um, so we're trying to get our kids keep on going, like uh, you know, for for cultural and uh, for you know, just keep it up uh, in our Filipino American community. And we're bringing some players back home in the Philippines. And we're trying to run our program to keep, keep kids active and just so keep on dreaming. Like this is a lifelong learning through basketball. So we're teaching the kids uh, how to, you know, get adversity by through through sports and the camaraderie and friendship. Kyle, um, back when he was 10 years old, we're running AAU and tournaments uh, on the Filipino American community. Uh, I trained Kyle when he was 10. Back then, when he was 10 years old, he's already uh, tall. But we wanted to make him run as a point guard. The program runs through him, runs through everything that we do, and we wanted to produce more that like time. You know, uh, a good uh, student, a good player, a good teammate, and from becoming a boy to become a man. Kyle is a jolly, friendly, um, and um, Listen, you know, um, easy to easy to coach, 
and um, will behave uh, his personality. He keeps us like, you know, the leadership, basically. Um, so he's a good leader. He said, pick me up. This for the tour, flew to Qatar, and then that was our connecting flight to uh, Iran. We were there for 10 days, and then we had all our games and everything, and then we flew back to the Philippines. My dad was waiting for me back in the Philippines, and then that was that for, what, August. My birthday's in August. My birthday's in August. I got, a, I got a playlist for when we go to Florida. I got Miami by Will Smith. I don't know if you know that song. Oh, I never heard of that one. I bet if I play it. Oh, Does the P on your thing yeah. stand for party? Great guess. That's where I go. Is that what it is? Get out, get out here. Push over. All at the same time, you got four years older and training camp this season. He jumps out, or if they have to play from behind, can he make the throws? Treated to the throwing shoulder that he injured late in the season. Worth watching how it affects his I just graduated in uh, December. So I started working in uh, March. Uh, so yeah. I've been working here at Apple. Where'd you graduate from? Uh, Virginia Tech. I'm a civil engineer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my favorite uh, one of my favorite. Any comment about that? Alright, Guardians. Are you ready for one last ride? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, my favorite baller. Oh, the favorite baller. Yes. How? <laughs> Do you know anyone that was on Mariah Carey's TikTok page? Oh my gosh, that's it! Overheated. That's Kyle Gibbert! That's a wrap! <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh my
I'm not good at talking about myself because I like talking about others. Giving back to the youth is what makes me be a trainer. It's what makes me want to be a trainer here in Delaware. It's a good profession, but it's not for everybody. A lot of trainers are here for the money. That's not me. I'm not here to collect the check. I'm here to make you better. Yes, the money is involved in it, but at the end of the day, it's about getting these kids to the next level. And then the ones that are at the next level, it's about getting them to be the best at that level. Like I said, when Kendall Gray, Jawan Gray, two professional basketball players that I've trained, good friends of mine, when they come back from overseas, they come here to Super Savage Training to elevate their game. Talent is here in Delaware. It just hasn't been able to be displayed. And with people like you that do the media, I mean, you guys are helping us out a big ton. And then with us as trainers, we're starting to see more trainers pop up. It's a big state. It ain't a huge state, but it's a big state. It's a lot of room for everybody to eat. So I love to see that kids are training. I don't necessarily, like I said, it's a bigger picture thing. I love to see kids training. If you're not training, you really don't have an excuse now in 2023.
time I get a chance to touch the ball, I'm getting shots up, I'm dribbling. Even if like it's a rainy day or like we can't go out, like I have the uh, opportunity to dribble in my garage, just get a dribble around it. If it's not, if it's nice out, I'll go outside shoot around. If it's not nice out, I'm blessed to have my dad that's willing to drive and get my rebounds and hold the cross for like another chip. So any day I've got a chance, I'll get shots up and work out.